This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar demonstrating cameras, sets, and drop zones in Apple Motion 5.5. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you how to move a single camera between multiple sets in motion. I'll show you how to place multiple sets, explore a new behavior called framing, we'll modify the timing, we'll add a 2D background and see the difference between 2D and 3D, and then we'll finish in Final Cut by adding video to all the drop zones. To make things easier, I've created a starting point called Multiple Sets Start. There's two sets. One set consists of a drop zone back at an angle created by the 3D Transform tool, the word shape, and as I play it, notice the word shape has a grow shrink behavior applied to it so that it is continuing to get larger. The second set is in the exact same spot. It has a different word, a different angle, but again, notice how the word is growing over the course of the effect. Go to the top view and select our first set. And we can see that that is right at the zero crossing, where it's just where you want the first set to be. Now I take the second set, notice I've turned off the first, take the second set, grab this little drag handle and drag it so it's somewhat away from the first set. With the set selected, go to the inspector, go to properties. I'm going to rotate this so that it gets rotated 90 degrees, which makes it easier for the camera to find it. So now I have two sets, one here and one here, each with a drop zone, each with text select the camera. We see the camera. I'll apply a sweep behavior. Camera sweep. And I'll start at say minus 10 degrees right there, just missing that set, and rotate over to 30 degrees. So yeah, right about there. We'll make it 20. When I get about this far, I want to make a transition from this set to this set. And that's done with a behavior called framing. The framing transition says change the focus of the camera from wherever it is to whatever you drag from the layers panel into this well. And I want the framing behavior to start right here. So the camera is going to sweep around, play it, camera sweeps around the first set, then trundles over to the second set and keeps sweeping. But remember I said stacking order is important. Whenever you work with a framing behavior, always make sure framing is below any other effects that are applied. And I don't want the framing behavior to take very long. I want it to be done right about there. So as we look at this, the camera starts arcing around the first set, the frame behavior moves it to the second set, the sweep continues smoothly as we look at these. And as we look at it in real life, it looks like this. We've got the first set, and then we've got the second set. Isn't that cool? And the movement continues. The sweep continues over the entire duration of that effect. And we'll turn on the background, which is our bubbles again. And because I want the bubbles, notice here the bubbles are everywhere. I don't want that. I just want the bubbles in the background to fill the space. So I set it to 2D so they don't worry about changing position as the camera moves. So I have 3D sets 3D cameras, 2D background. And we'll go up to File, and I want to convert the project to a generator, and then save it, and we'll call it Two Sets, and we'll save it in the Larry category, and click Publish. Switch over to Final Cut, go to our generators, Larry, and we'll look for two sets and drag it down. Select it. Go to the inspector. There's our first source. 
I haven't found a way to rename those. It may exist, but I don't know what it is. So I always have to guess. Let's click here, hand shape, and we'll click there and click apply. Good, that's the right one. Then we'll click here, go to finish, click there and apply. That's the right one. Now shape is correct, but this word is wrong. So we'll double click here and change it to finish. Ah, don't do that. There we go. So the text can be changed. And now let's take a look at it. Is that cool? The camera is moving. The text is moving. The video inside, the drop zones are moving. The background is moving. Very, very cool. I did one more thing just to show you what's possible is I've created multiple sets. And this, if I go here, command four, here, the first one is shape. And I've set markers just to make it easier for me to find. The second is color. The third is soften. And the fourth is finish. And click apply. And now hide this, hide that, spacebar. Set this to better performance. Ta-da! I'm not moving between two sets, I'm moving between four, but the process is exactly the same. Is that cool? This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar demonstrating cameras, sets, and drop zones in Apple Motion. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 307. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.